Hey everyone, it's Alex with Web Hosting Canada. Today, we're going to take a look at how to manage DNS records in cPanel. So, uh, managing DNS records is a fairly complex topic. So if you really want to get a good understanding of this, I would invite you to read Web Hosting Canada's article on how to manage DNS records, which is on the blog, and the link to it will be in the description of this YouTube video. I should also point out that in most cases, you won't need to manage your DNS records because cPanel sets them up automatically. But if you are using an external email provider, such as G Suite, then you will need to change your MX records. And we're going to show you how to do that. So I'm right here in the Web Hosting Canada client area, and I'm just going to click on go to cPanel. And that opens up cPanel in a new tab. And then right here under the domain section, I have zone editor. And we're going to be working with solutions-web.ca today. And you can actually add A records, CNAME records, and MX records from this screen. But it's always better to click on manage because that takes you to the zone editor screen where you can actually see what you're doing. So this is quite a bit of information to manage, but you don't need to worry about most of it. First, we'll look at how to add an A record. So I'm just going to click on the drop down here next to add record, and A record is the first option. For the zone name, we'll use cats.solutionsweb.ca. TTL stands for time to live, and that is the amount of time in seconds that the server will hold information in its cache before updating that information. So uh, this is four hours, and I'm just gonna set it to 600 which is 10 minutes. We want it to be an A record. And for the IP address, I'll just use 123.123.123.123. .123 and I'll click on add record. So up here it says success. You've added the following record. I'm just going to close that. And you can actually filter the type of record that it shows here. So I'm just going to click on A to make this a bit easier. And scroll down and there is cats.solutions-web.ca. Now, if you ever need to edit or change an A record, all that you need to do is click on the edit button right here. And then you can change any of this information that you need to. So why don't we just change our subdomain prefix from cats to dogs. And then we'll change the IP address it's pointing to to a real IP address. And then we'll click on save record. So again, we get the success message up here. Close that. And the record has been changed from cats to dogs. And the IP has also been changed. If you ever need to delete an A record or any kind of DNS record, all you need to do in cPanel is come over here and click on delete and it'll ask if you are certain that you want to delete this record and you click on continue. And now we get the success message that dogs.solutions-web.ca has been deleted. So I'm gonna go back to filtering to all. And now we'll look at how to change the MX records to G Suite. Now G Suite is uh, Google's professional email, and it's a very popular setup for managing your email address. 
And if you want to have your emails routed directly to your G Suite, which is advisable, then you need to come into uh, the zone editor and change your MX records. So if we filter by MX record, we'll see that there's one MX record and it's currently pointing to mx.solutions-web.ca. So a best practice is to add the new MX record first before you delete the old one. And that should um, give you a better chance of not having downtime with your email address. So I've got the G Suite MX records open in a separate tab. So I'm just going to open this up. And there's actually five different uh, G Suite MX records here, and they recommend adding all of them uh, because the the second, uh, the next, the first one is really the important one. And after that, the rest are just redundancies. They're backups, basically. Um, so if you want to have the most uh, redundancy possible, you should use all five. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to uh, do the first two. So I'm going to copy this, which is the destination. And I'm going to come back to cPanel, click on Add Record, go to MX Record. The name we can leave as is. TTL is uh, locked in, so we'll leave that as it is. Type we want to leave as MX. And then for the priority under Record, um, the lower the priority number, the more priority it's given. So this is set to zero and that will work with Google setup because it has requested that we set the first one to a priority of one. So I'll put in a one here. I'll paste in the destination name here and I'll click on add record. And then I just need to repeat that process with the next one. And if you wanted to do all five of these, then you would repeat the process with all five. So once again, add a record, add MX record. We can leave all this as it is. This one is five. This is the destination and add record. So now if I was actually changing to Google's MX records, at this point, I would delete the uh, the original record and then G and then G Suite's records would take over. But because I'm just demonstrating instead of that, I'm going to delete the G Suite MX records. All right, so now you know how to add, edit, and delete A records and MX records using the zone editor in cPanel. If you have any questions about this, feel free to leave us a comment. Uh, we're always happy to help you out. And remember, if you want to gain a better understanding of how DNS records work, we really recommend reading the blog article, which is linked in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon with more great content for you.